Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best U.S. Mint News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is August 30th, 2024, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the uncirculated coin set from 2024. You know, the one that just dropped yesterday, and it was an uneventful drop. But before any of that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. Also, guess what? Hey, we're always live and never edited. Now over here to MoneyMetals.com. Looks like gold's down $1.70 to 25 dollars 29 $1.70. Silver up seven cents to twenty nine sixty eight. Platinum down a dollar ninety five to nine fifty one sixty. And palladium up six fifty to ten eighteen thirty. And Dr. Copper, wow, look at that, would you? Up twenty one cents to four twenty six. You're looking at it in stock American Silver Eagle, whose premium is seven fifty nine. Now for a quantity of one through thirty nine, you will be paying thirty seven twenty seven each. Is that right? Yeah, that's about right. Now they will buy them back for thirty dollars and ninety nine cents each. Now over here to the bullion sales, yeah. Second to the last day of the month, tomorrow is the last day of August, and hopefully we'll see some numbers, some additional numbers for August that probably match July's numbers, uh, hopefully, I would think, because I think we're capped at 1.7 million American Silver Eagles per month. And honestly, it's a pretty healthy total right now at 16.8, so I think the mint's doing all right there. Now let's keep on keeping on. Yep, there she is. That's the uncirculated coin set from 2024, just dropped yesterday at noon. There was no household order limit. However, there was a stated product limit of 190,000. And the reason this set is, well, well, has caught the eye of the collecting public is because those Jefferson Nichols, as you can see right there, particularly the, um, well, the Denver one that's in the red right there. The Denver is at 32. Let's see here. I think I have it here. Nope, that's not it. Um, it's at 32.8. There we go. Found it 32.88 million so far this year, and we could see additional numbers, okay, in about a week or so, maybe less, maybe Monday, Tuesday, and Philadelphia is at 36.72 million. Now, if you recall, the 2009 Jefferson Nickel was pretty low mintage, however, and, and it is very expensive, if you, try, if you try and pick up a roll of those, you're going to be spending a pretty penny, no doubt about it. But here we are for 2024, and we're about 10 million less this year than we were for 2009 and i i gotta ask the question are you and everybody you know hoping that the united states mint just stop striking nickels for the rest of the year i do i hope so i hope they don't strike any more nickels at all whatsoever and but look if there's 190,000 of these sets that were produced okay that means well those nickels have to be added to these totals here, I would imagine, but that's really what it's negligible, right? 190,000 compared to 32.88 million, pretty much, right? Now let's go back over here. And the reason I've selected this is because, well, if you do put it in your basket, um, it doesn't say that it's in back order at all. It's still the shiny candy like red button. Um, and I guess I want to ask y'all, when do you suppose this particular product will be selling out at the United States Mint? And will it sell out before the 2021? Now, the 2022 is already sold out. Or how about the 2023? Will this sell out before that one? And I would have to suspect um, that the 2023, there's only a couple thousand of those left. And at just a few hundred per week, maybe that gives us 10 weeks of sales. And maybe, just maybe... This uncirculated coin set will be unavailable by Thanksgiving or maybe that Cyber Monday um, following uh, maybe. And hopefully we'll have a vault sale because we talked about that yesterday also. Um, really great set. Uh, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite mint product every single year uh, is the uncirculated coin set. There's no more beautiful coins than these. Um, and if you don't believe me, let's go here to subscribe and get free shipping. Now, if you want to subscribe to this particular product, you got 2025. And I think that's an important set because, yeah, 2026, the United States Mint's going to be changing the obverse and the reverse designs of our circulating coinage. So 2025 is going to be the last year of, well, the Kennedy half dollar as you know it. That's it. That's the last time in 2025 that it's going to look like that facing to the left because they're going to swap it, make it face right, and it probably won't even be Kennedy. It's going to be a different person altogether yeah did you see those videos you got to check them out it's remarkable now it's going to be approximately 29 dollars per subscription the mints raised the prices this year to 29 dollars. they were 25 25 last year and going forward the mintage is staying well the, pro the stated product limit is the same at 190,000. and i think that really um ex well i guess it just gives a little bit more um evidence down and to the right Okay, the mint's annual products are all down and to the right. This is probably the lowest amount of annual sets the mint's ever produced at any given time since the 1950s, folks. I'm talking proof sets, silver proof sets, perhaps um, definitely uncirculated sets, definitely proof sets. 
um, and quarters, maybe not so much, but I would imagine the United States Mint's going to actually um, back off the quarter uh, mintages uh, for next year for the um, American Women quarters. And that will be the last year because uh, it will be a four-year program. I, I just can't believe it's almost over. It just, And we should be getting those designs uh, for the American Women quarters shortly. Now, let's keep on keeping on. I did show you uh, this a little bit. Yeah, so that's the uncirculated coin set. It doesn't say on back order till September or November, October, December, anything like that. And isn't that nice? That means that hopefully they have plenty of them in stock. Uh, I did show you the um, the circulating coin production. Now let's go over here to eBay real quick. Like, all right, there we have the 2024 Jefferson Nickel. Though, and this is the uh, the coin that started it all, right? This is the one. Now it says we've streamlined your search. Now here we go. Now this is kind of an anomaly, and it is circulated, but it's a dollar thirty five with seventy nine cents shipping. It's a newly listed coin on eight twenty nine just yesterday, and well, it's a dollar thirty five. And generally speaking. You see proof coins more expensive than the circulating coins. Uh, well, I would say uncirculating coins even then too, right? Because proof are more valuable, generally speaking, than circulated. It says so right here at the Google machine over here. And I asked the question to the Google machine, which coin is generally worth more proof or uncirculated? Well, Search Labs of the AI Overview states that proof coins are generally worth more than uncirculated coins due to their rarity, superior quality, and limited availability. Proof coins can sell for more than value, than I guess the value of their precious metals, and some have been substantial value, have seen substantial value increases. Now, here we go. Um, here's how proof and uncirculated coins compare. Production. Proof coins are struck at least twice and hand polished, while uncirculated coins are struck once, similar, similar to circulated coins. Now, not necessarily for the uncirculated coin sets, because I did want to show you this real quick, like... Yeah, this is amazing. So in the description for the uh, subscribing and free shipping, not under current product, which is kind of a head scratcher, but it says right here, U.S. Mint uncirculated coins are struck on special presses using greater force than what is used for circulating coins, producing a sharp, intricately detailed image. That's right. So that's one thing about the uncirculated coin sets that stand above the bank rolls that you can get at your local, well, obviously bank. There's way different. They're two different coins. Now, appearance. Proof coins have a mirror-like background and frosted foreground, like devices, right? While uncirculated coins may have small scuffs or imperfections. Rarity. Fewer proof coins are minted than uncirculated coins. Cost. Proof coins cost more upfront than uncirculated coins. Value. Proof coins have a higher markup and greater potential for appreciation over time. Investment. Proof coins are prized for their aesthetic qualities and potential for significant appreciation. Uncirculated coins are valued for their condition and potential for appreciation, especially in limited mintage series. And I think that's where we're at right now. Um, and this is U.S. Gold Bureau, and I'll read this here, uncirculated versus proof. What is the difference? Uncirculated coins are often valued for their condition and rarity. That's exactly what we're looking at here today, especially in series with limited mintages. The appeal, uh, their appeal lies in the mint condition and potentially a potential for appreciation over time proof coins are typically more expensive at the outset due to their superior craftsmanship and limited availability there you go that's the answer we're looking for right there so did you ever suspect that you would see uncirculated coins be more expensive than the proof absolutely look at this 240 for the san francisco proof 248 and so on and so forth so it, that's about basically about well the going rate for the San Francisco proof Jefferson Nichols it's about 250 right and you can find it for three you can find it for a little bit more there's three 324 325 350 and it caps out I think at about four or five bucks now here's the thing after that four or five bucks you start getting into the uncirculated there we go 350 that's a P 350 that's a D that's actually um that price seems like it's coming down a little unless these are um, circulated, but it does say from an original bank wrap roll. So that's a good thing, right? Uh, 424, 445, there we go, S, S. And, and really for quite a long time, folks, we only saw S, Jefferson Nichols here. And look at that one, that's a D. Looks like the price is coming down somewhat, but if you do the math, if you want the P and the D, that's probably gonna be close to 10 bucks. And that's why the uncirculated set from 2024 was well so I guess appealing to everybody because instead of spending you know ten bucks on two nickels well you get those two nickels with the uncirculated coin set additionally obviously you get some other face value coins but um, you know a third of the price is the nickels I don't think so now let's keep on keeping on let's go to the last item up here on 
and it's eBay. I have uncirculated coin set 2024, product code 24RJ, Romeo and Juliet. And I have recent completed and sold listings. And uh, yeah, look at that. It was 29. Now this one sold for just 40. This one sold for 45. That one was a couple days ago, August 18. That was 30, 34, 39. So it looks like, look at that, 47. That's in July. That's amazing. So I would I would say that this uncirculated coin set, if you were to have to put a price on it, I would say it's at least a $50 set, maybe 45 at the lowest right now. And then once it becomes unavailable, I think that's when the price goes up even further. And I know that, you know, um, that might not sound uh, logical that the price is going to be higher than the mint's price right now, uh, even though it's still available, but that's just the way seem, uh, things seem to work out um, in this hobby. I can't explain it, but that's about the gist of it. And then when it does become unavailable at the United States Mint or sold out or whatever you want to call it, the blue remind me, um, I think then at that point, sellers recognize that and they will uh, raise their prices. So with that said, um, that was the uncirculated coin set from 2024. And hopefully we'll get some more information about it. And look, you know, if the United States Mint actually does produce um, additional coins uh, here for 2024, especially those Jefferson Nichols, will all this be for not? Will all those uh, people who bought the rolls and individual coins, will they just be sitting on these? Um, you know, look, if, if we have... Um, August, September, October, November, we have four months worth of striking coins left, probably. I don't really count December because I think that's when they're getting ready to swap over for 2025. So in, in the four months, uh, how many could they produce, right? So I think that's the question. And we haven't heard of anybody uh, telling us that the mint in Denver is, um, well, going at full um, speed, right? We hear it's kind of shuttered and shut down and not much is, uh, activity is going on there. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully, like I said earlier in the video, are you hoping they don't produce any more? I sure am. Now let's go to those plus ones. Bam, this is about conduct. This is by uh, Maimonides. He said this, the way a man walks tells us whether he is wise or foolish. Learned, is it learned or learned or ignorant? Either way, I think you get the gist of it there. Now let's go over here to bounce over to the 99.9 KON coin news radio. This is the church under the Milky Way. You probably heard it under car commercials because they like to pull these 80s songs and put them on their car commercials. It's really kind of funny, actually. Either way, they're catchy tunes, and hopefully you dig it. It is Friday. Hopefully you have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful weekend planned. And remember, you know, always talk plans. It's always fun to talk plans, isn't it? What you're going to do on vacation, what you're going to do on the weekend. It's so much more fun to talk about the cool stuff you're going to do, right? So maybe we should focus on the cool stuff we want to do. Have a great weekend, folks. Stack her out.